hello and welcome to Miss Price Creates. This week I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a uh, sticker haul and planner accessory haul and then I'm going to go ahead and get into this next week's plan with me. So first off, I got these little fall planner page markers. I'm starting to get ready for the fall season because I cannot wait for it. I despise the heat with everything. I, I, I love the fall. Love the summer. Anyways, the shop I got it from, I think I paid like $2 each on the of these on her sale. It was awesome. And then it came with this little free um, sticker set. And then next from Jump Toot Designs, I got these little weight stickers. And then I also got their new premium collection. Now this isn't paid or sponsored. This is just um, my own purchase, with my own money. Um, anyways, it's Jump Toot Designs Inc. And I love their stickers. They use this premium matte vinyl and it makes the stickers pop. Um, you can see I have their October monthly kit and the colors are just so vibrant. So anyways, I had to get for Halloween their weekly kit. Now their new premium um, kits, when you buy them on their sale are $22, I believe. Otherwise they're normally $28. They come with these two vinyl sheets and you can pick which color um, foil. Sorry, I meant foil sheets, not vinyl sheets. And then it came with these little foils. I picked gold because I thought it went best. And these are the freebies it came with. Came with glitter tabs. Came with little popcorns. And it even came with the peekaboo notes, which I've never used before, so that should be fun. Then here is this kit. Boxes. The thick washi and the date covers. Then we have some half and quarter boxes. Sorry, these aren't coming. There we go. It's really pretty. And then our little this and that. And then lastly, our Weaken Bar, our Hydrate, and our um, Habit Traggers. And that is it. I love this kit. I'm very, very happy with it. And I cannot wait to use it. I might even have to pre-plan with it. But I'm going to try to hold off as long as possible um, before putting it in. But we I don't know how long that will be. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for the kits. Oops, it just fell off the table. Sorry. So anyway, so let's look at this last week. Sorry, I have a little bit of um, allergies, so I'm kind of sniffly. So it was the uh, first week of school for my son. So I did this school sit, school sit, the school kit. It is from um, a printable company. So I actually printed this kit myself and then cut it on my silhouette machine. And I'm actually going to be doing a um, separate video about printables because, you know, as you can see, it's really pretty. You can even get it more vibrant um, on different paper, which I will go ahead and discuss in the other video as well. Anyways, this is a kit from Design Lovely. I like her kits, except for her kits are missing a few key elements for me with my planning. Um, so I probably might not use this company as much, but I do use Planner Shack and a few others, which I will um, show you. Anyway, so this is it. This is my own little magnetic planner markers. I just released my fall set. So if anybody's interested, I'll put a link to my shop down below. So anyways, that is this last week, and we'll go ahead and jump into this week, and let's pick a kit. 
So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use a planner cake kit. I was thinking this one here. But I was also... Sorry, like I said, I'm sniffly. I was thinking about this coffee kit too. But I don't know... You know what, we'll go ahead and use the other summery kit because it's going to be, summer's going to be over and then that's more of an anytime kit. So let's go ahead and go with Planner Kate and we'll go ahead and do this one. This is kit 157 and I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video from here while I go ahead and grab out the rest of the kit elements that I'll be using. Okay, and we are ready to plan now. I know it's been a little bit since I did a video. Last week was just really busy with school and um, with the kids starting school and I started a new class in my bachelor's program, so it's just been kind of busy, and I hadn't had time during the day at all to record because my kids were always home or awake or I was working, and then at nighttime, it was just too dark. So it's Sunday. My daughter just left with my mother-in-law to go play at the play place, so I'm hoping to get a few, a little bit of time to get these videos recorded and uploaded. My husband's outside working on his truck, so he might, or not his truck, his Jeep, sorry. So hopefully he won't be coming in to call me out anytime soon to help at all, so I can get these videos done. And my son, my son is with my dad. He went to go ride BMX, so that's what he's doing. Oops, so we're gonna go ahead and start by laying these out. So like I said, my son just started school this week and I was very ready for school to start. He was starting to get bored. You know, the summer was done. He has a hard time occupying himself, so, you know, he was just kind of ready to go back and have something to do and be busy all the time, and I was ready for it too because, like I said, he has a hard time occupying himself, and so it's very challenging when you're trying to you know, work and, because I work from home, and occupy a 10-year-old and then have a three-year-old also, because my three-year-old can occupy herself pretty well. She's she's really good at that. So she'd be occupying herself and he'd come down and distract her to antagonize her to entertain himself. So you can imagine how that went. My three-year-old is very feisty and very vocal and has no problem telling you when you're <laughs> pissing her off, for lack of better words. So it was ready, we were all ready. So we're back into the swing of school. Last week was the first week and we're all good. Make sure I'm, yep, the right week, okay. So let's get these little guys on here. We got Monday. Normally I'd speed up through here, but I figured we can go ahead and chat. I can't believe it's already the middle of August. My dogs are about to bark. I'm wondering if my husband's coming in. Anyways, I can't believe it's already the middle of August. It's insane. It seems like this year just flown by. But the one exciting thing about August being over is that it's almost fall. And I'm so ready for the cooler weather. I am a cold weather girl. I do not like the heat. I do not like getting being out in the sun. Like, I don't mind the sun, but I don't like the hot sun. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a fall girl through and through. I love everything about fall. I love the fall holidays. I love the winter holidays. I'm a Christmas freak. I start decorating my house the first day of fall. Um, and then what I do is I decorate for fall. And then October 1st, oops, I throw in the... Uh, Halloween decorations, and then the Halloween decorations stay up until Halloween, obviously. 
and then I decorate, uh, leave the fall decorations up, and then on Thanksgiving, that night usually, or a few days after, um, when the kids go to bed, I decorate the entire house for Christmas. And they wake up and it's just like a winter wonderland. Because I don't do like a little bit of Christmas decorations. I do like a lot of Christmas decorations. <laughs> Some people might think it's obnoxious. My house looks like a winter wonderland. So it's always fun. The kids get super excited. They, they love it. But I try not to always do it the same day every year. To, you know, kind of mix things up to keep, keep the... Uh, Surprise, so they're not like going to bed being like expecting it to be like that, you know, it's just kind of a surprise. So, but yeah, I love, love, love decorating my house. And fall through Christmas is my favorite time of year. But usually by the time Christmas has come and gone, I'm ready for my decorations to be down and my house to be back to normal because it's been decorated for like, you know, multiple months. So usually, um, I don't leave my Christmas decorations up too far past Christmas. So usually within a couple days after Christmas, I take down the Christmas decorations and put our house back to normal. And my husband's calling me. Hold on. Okay, we are back. Sorry, I had to rush off real quick. Let me get a cup drink coffee. Like I said, my husband's working on his Jeep. And of course, right in the middle of this. He needs some help, so I had to rush out and help him real quick. And now we'll go ahead and get back at it. I don't remember what I was talking about before. But anyways, this week should be a little bit less busy. We don't have all this before school prep and um, kind of get into our the swing of things, get into our routine. Okay, oh, you know what, this weekend sticker uh, yeah, I guess it'll show up on here. There we go. So this weekend, yesterday we went to Columbia. Um, it's eh, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes from where I live now. It's like this little historical town. Um, we took my daughter, because my son was with his grandma having a play day with some friends that live nearby her. So he was with him. So we took my daughter up to Columbia thinking she'd like to like run around the old historic town and climb on rocks and stuff like that. But we got there and she's like, can, can we go home? <laughs> she didn't dig it. She liked the candy kitchen and um, she got to have her very first um, soda. We got to let her have like a little sarsaparilla, a little, a little tiny like talking like quarter cup you know we don't let our kids drink soda and stuff like that but um she had like this little quarter glass of sarsaparilla and um which she didn't really know what to think about think of and then we went out and we figured she'd want to like climb on the rocks and play but no she was kind of over it so my mom was camping um probably like 20 minutes away if that so we drove over to her campsite and visited and oh, she played in the mud and played with cars and stuff like that. So she thought that was fun. So we go grab, we stopped at the candy kitchen, grabbed some treats and headed to the lake where my mom was camping. She lives in Sonora, which is a little bit out of Columbia. I live in California, I'm, not, I'm sure. Nobody knows these places I'm talking about. So anyways, my mom was in Sonora. Anyways, I'll tell you. And she, um, they camp all the time. So she'll just, they drive down. They went and drive and drop their camper off in Maloney's. It's a lake nearby, like 30 minutes from their house. They go and they drop their, their camper off there and their boat. They take their boats and they go stay from like Friday till Sunday and they come home. Um, but it's nice. So we go out there and, and visit sometimes when they're out camping up there and let the kids play in the dirt and have fun. Come on. So that's what we did yesterday. Came home and just relaxed. And then today my son went with my dad to go ride his BMX. And then my daughter just left with my mother-in-law. She took her to go play. So I get a little short amount of time 
to have to myself, which every mom definitely needs. Okay, so there we go. That's how she looks. Let's go ahead and have my little sidebar. I'm not sure how everybody feels about these hexagons, but they're not exactly my favorite. I'm not a big fan of the, the hexagons here. I love Erin Condren planners, but oops, these hexagons are not my favorite. Luckily, they're easy to cover up. Then do our sidebar. I went and had in the kit, got the extra pieces. I get these hexagon covers, but I didn't even end up using them really. So I'll use them for something maybe at some point, maybe cut it and use it somewhere else. So, let's do this week. Do our, my habit trackers, which I always fail at. Does anybody else just like not do well with their habit trackers? I always have good intentions. I always want to. So I keep putting them on because I really do want, that's crooked, really do want to use the habit trackers I just always forget doesn't mean I don't do the habit I just always forget to mark my habit tracker that's why um, I'm not utilizing the monthly habit trackers that they comes in the front of this planner in the notes section because I just I have hard enough time doing it weekly I know that I'm not gonna do it monthly so I'm just using it for something different you know as straight as possible Okay, also this week starts soccer. So that'll be um, a regular activity we have to do. Go ahead and use this green. Oop, that one's not very good. I've been getting more and more stickers like this, not cut all the way. So that means that my meal planning definitely has kicked into overdrive because now we're going to have school, we have soccer practice, we have uh, BMX practice. So our activities become more regimented. In the summer, it's more lax, but definitely um, once school starts, everything becomes extremely regimented and planned ahead and whatnot. I'm going to have to do something about this down here because I don't like this. So, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do this. Well, show, yeah, it's going to show through. It's my whiteout. This is my favorite, the Tombow. I love it because it doesn't peel off at all. So I, I can put stickers on it. I can pull the stickers off, and it doesn't peel up. And I like that. I don't like white out where when you go to write on it, it like comes off on your pen. This doesn't. Um, that is a huge pet peeve of mine. So, go ahead and line that up. There. And what we'll do with this one is we'll put our my coffee sticker for the week. Let's see. We're gonna do the May the Coffee Be With You. Looks good. Okay, so we'll all write in my meals here. My habit I'll be tracking for the week. And let's see. First I'll put in my husband's work schedule. Works on Tuesday. Oops. And I also started up here doing the weather, just out of curiosity. I left those stickers downstairs. Actually, no, I didn't. I left them. I have them here. And what I do is I got these ones from Polished Patterns, 
And what I do is every day I just go through and pick which one I want and put it in here. I got these for $1.50 a sheet during her sale. So if you haven't checked her out, do so and follow her so that way when she has her sales, you guys can snag one too because her prices are really good. Okay, so we have trash day, which is Monday. Let's put trash day in something fun. As we all know, garbage day, garbage. I don't like taking the cans out. Is anybody else like that? I hate taking the trash cans out. They smell, the can's always sticky when you touch it. I always, it's just grosses me out. So luckily my husband does it, but when he forgets, like when he works on Sundays, cause he works every other Sunday and I have to take out, I really don't like it. It's yucky. <sighs> okay, so the 15th. At 9 a.m., we have a doctor's appointment for my son. Where did my pen go? There it is. I use the Paper Mate Gel, Ink Joy, 0.5. So 9 a.m. So he won't go to school this day because it's a minimum day. And um, he has an appointment at 9 and out of town. So he won't be going to school on this day. Okay. So we'll put that here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's minimum day. Let's look up here. August 15th, yeah. Minimum day. So yeah, he won't go to school this day. I'm still going to put a sticker on those so I remember, because otherwise I'll end up taking it back to school, because I'll forget. If it's not in the calendar, I don't remember, and I'll have to turn around and go pick them right back up. Or I'll forget, and then I'll have to rush over to pick them up, because <laughs> he goes to school in the next town over. Okay. Okay. And then Friday, he's not going to go to school for the full day because he's going out of town for a BMX race. Um, the, we, this weekend is his nationals, so and they're in San Jose, which is about an hour and a half away. So he's going to be leaving early this day. Um, Mason to races. Here. Actually here because you'll get out in the afternoon. So for those of you who don't know or you just watched me the first time, my first box I use for morning, afternoon activities, evening, and down here is where I put all my school stuff, which I'll go ahead and do last because I didn't plan plan ahead and have my calendar up, so bad on me. Okay, let's see what's next. Go ahead and put my little girls on. So Friday is payday. We all love payday. Even though it comes and goes. And repeat. <laughs> this weekend will also be a grocery shopping weekend. So we'll put these little grocery girl here because I'll either go on Friday or Saturday. And then, actually here, we'll use these, this little grocery time sticker. I try to use as many stickers from the kits as I can. And, do, do, do. does anybody even use these clean house stickers? Like, is it just me? I mean, I feel like I'm cleaning my house all the time. Like, there's never a time where like, I'm like, oh, okay, today I'm gonna no, clean the house. It's like, I clean the house nonstop every day, all day. So, it just seems like, counterproductive to even bother putting a sticker because otherwise I'd have a clean house or do laundry or something every single day because I am constantly doing laundry. I'm constantly cleaning up my house. I'm constantly vacuuming. So yeah, maybe it's just me, 
maybe I'm like OCD, but I find no need for those stickers because I would need too many of them. Okay, and then my planning, I always do on the weekend. And my daughter's spending the night with my mother-in-law this day because I'll be taking my son on Sunday out of town to the race. So he races Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, my dad's taking him. Saturday, my husband and his parents are taking him and why I stay home with Allison. And then on Sunday, my daughter's gonna go to my mother-in-law's and I'm gonna take Mason. So, cause taking a three-year-old to a race that you're there for like six to eight hours is no fun at all. <laughs> Allison, sleepover, grandma. Okay, put that here. She'll go over in the evening. one of these fun stickers actually yeah okay so it's a national that he's going to so he'll be going on Friday Saturday Sunday Friday's a regular race Saturday is a national and Sunday's a national Friday's just kind of so the kids can practice and get ready for the next day. BMX race. I'm going to use this one. I hear my husband downstairs, so that means he's probably going to be coming upstairs any minute to shower. I don't know about anybody else, but I always feel weird talking on filming videos and other people in their house. I don't like like being listened to, is that weird? Because I know they're gonna watch me, but it's just at the time I don't like being listened to. It's probably me just being weird. So soccer practice starts on Monday and it is at 6.30 p.m. Go practice. He used to play for a competitive team, but we stopped doing it because the politics behind it and all the drama is just too much. Fall Rec has a lot less like traveling and running around and a lot, no politics. They may be a lot less organized, like they're extremely disorganized, but I think I'd rather them be disorganized than deal with all the the drama and all the traveling. So we're just gonna use a couple like different ones on this one because I don't have very many of the same color. I usually I alternate two colors, but I'm just gonna pick ones that match and go with it. So there everybody else's kids gone back to school or we were going to put my daughter in preschool but we decided to wait because it's super expensive for one and two we take her a lot of places she, she's very smart we, we challenge her and teach her and everything like that so we're thinking we can hold off one more year and let her go next year because it's like $50 a day. It's insane. That just seems so crazy. Oops. Probably. Oh, well. Whatever. We're committed. We're going to just do it. Usually I like to put these all in one line, but that's okay. Okay. And that looks like it's about going to be it. I'm going to enter my class information here, but I don't have that on me and I don't want to have you guys have to sit and watch me fumble through my phone to find it. So this is it before, well mostly before ink. I will go ahead and take a picture at the end of this video once I enter all the school information and I 
put in anything else I forgot and I will post at this end of this video. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Okay, so I went ahead and added a few extra things that I like. I knew I would forget and I forgot. And I wanted to go ahead and show you, so when I'm done with my kits for the week, so I have my week kits um, and I put them up front here. So I put a little clear pocket. And so everything that I'm gonna use for the week goes here so I can just pull from it and easily put it into my planner. And then, um, for my month kits, I put them here. So I could, if I need to add something to my month view, um, I can just pull from the matching kit and put it into my month view. So that is this week. I'm sure it's gonna fill up between now and then. Um, also, I wanted to show you, so for my um, leftover, not leftover, for my little samplers I get, and also for my small stickers I get, I make these albums um, I make the covers and everything. You can pick anything you want. And then what I do is I put carry these with my planner. And what I do is I put all my small little stickers in here. So these small ones that I get that are, you know, they'll get kind of mixed up in my bigger sticker kit. I don't want them to be forgotten about. I put them in these little books. It's easy to grab. I can just throw one in. And I also keep my little extras. So the little leftover popcorns from kits, um, and little freebies I get, I put those all in here. And then they're just easy for me to just grab and throw in, and these guys I keep in here because I use them all the time, and that way I have them with my planner all the time. My other book I have is this one here, and this one is one that's divided. So I make these as well. As you can see, the page is divided down the center. You have a pocket over here and a pocket over here to stick in the little Planner Kate samples. And also now um, Libby Co. does her samples the same size, so those fit in here as well. I sell these on my website for $9 a piece. I just listed the fall collection. They don't won't have the Planner Kate. Those are were put on by myself, um, but they have the covers. You can pick whichever cover you'd like, and you need to pick it to have it not divided or to have it divided. If you pick divided, you have 72 slots to stick in. If you pick it undivided, you have 36. So, and there will be, um, you will get a bulk discount if you buy multiple, just let me know. I can also make them with business names, whatever you like. I'm so sorry, if you hear that in the background, that's my husband dragging the jack back across the street to our neighbor. <laughs> That's so loud. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, the link to my website will be down below for these books. I also sell a few other planner related items. Like I mentioned this little, these magnetic bookmarkers and they just clip over the page and that's it. They just stick right on. Oops. They just stick right on. They won't come off. The only reason why that came undone is because I bent it right in the middle of it, but uh, they're really sturdy, and I'm using a fall one because I'm wishing so much and so hard that it'd be fall. So I'm hoping by putting my little pumpkin mark there, there every time I look at it, maybe I'll wish for cold weather enough to where it will just be here already. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic weekend.